everybody, this is Yuki J. Curry, back with another video. I just wanted to talk to you all, you know, the name of my channel is I Already Made Family, and today is Father's Day. I just want to say Happy Father's Day to all the fathers, to all the fathers that's being real in their kids' lives, being active in, ki in their kids' lives, loving their kids, not just providing, but being a... a, a, a a mediator or whatever you be in your kids like a, a wisdom giver guys being an overall father I just want to wish you all the best happy father's day ever from, 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 from our family to yours you know be a blessing to your kids and kids be a blessing to your fathers especially if they're being there for you not just in the house but there because you can be there and not there you know you can be there and not there you know, so I just encourage you all, all you fathers, to, to, to continue to, to, to have strength to raise these kids. Because I know sometimes it can be hard to raise kids. You know, especially if they're a ready-made family. You know, it could be a woman with a ready-made family or it could be a guy with a ready-made family. It could be a guy in a ready-made family. It's okay. Already made family right there. <laughs> That's my youngest, my nine month old, almost ten months. But anyway, you know, I know it can be hard raising uh, another man's kids, but you have you have fathers out there. Shout out to all my fathers. That's with a ready made family and doing what it takes to be that father figure in their lives. Spent taking out time with them, doing things with them, throwing the ball around, playing basketball, baseball, being at their games, motivating them. I, guys, guys, uh, guys, fathers out there that you have sons that need that in their life, just as well as daughters, especially daughters, especially daughters. They need their father figure in their life. They're showing them, just paving the way for them to know what a, a, a guy's supposed to be. You know, and and, and, and I will add this to it: with be having God first, because if you have God first, you win. You have God first, you win. That's in a man or a woman's life, but today is Father's Day. Mother's Day was last month. So, fathers, yes, whatever you do, put God first, and you and he'll direct your path. You can never go wrong, especially with raising kids. Train up a child in the way it should go. Train up a child in the way it should go. And in the end, they won't depart from the teachings. Ephesians 6 and 1, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right, especially if they're in the Lord. You don't disrespect them there after the Lord, because God's going to be older than them. But they in the Lord, you ought to respect your, your parents, your, your father, you know. I ain't getting a chance to call my father today. No. But I love my dad. I love my dad. And he was the best father he knew how to be. Because you got some fathers that don't know how to be fathers. Just like my husband. I had seven kids before we got together. This from a previous marriage. I had seven kids from a previous marriage. And we have two together. So that what makes nine. That will make our ready-made family. You know, God bless this union in this ready-made family. You know, and he has done it. He has blessed me with a wonderful husband, wonderful father. You know, he takes on a lot of things that... And I will, I will add this as well. He didn't have any children. I've been knowing, me and Wendell have been knowing each other since we were kids, elementary, key, in, in elementary school. I've been knowing him for a while. It's just amazing how God puts certain people together. So ladies, if you, if you feel like you are in a dead in relationship or in a marriage, you know, and things ain't going right, seek the Lord. Because it, it may or may not be your mate, but seek the Lord. Because when God has joined together, it said, let no man put a son of. But if that, that person is not for you, it, it's going to be put a son of. Because you got to get with who God has for you. Don't just be picking and choosing nobody and wondering why your life is going the way it's going. You have to first seek the Lord. You have to make yourself ready for a husband. Men, you got to make yourself ready for a wife. Don't be around here. Uh, stand with your mama Got dip all 17 different baby mamas You know what I'm saying and, and, and doing things out there in the street 
And then talking about you want to marry somebody. No, that ain't, the, that ain't the ticket. That ain't the way to do things. You do things the right way. And if you want somebody, if you want somebody that's good, you have to be good first. How you going to expect to get someone good when you're evil? Your priorities are not in line. You can't pay your bills right. You don't have no job. How you expect to find a, a lady, a woman, a real woman, as y'all say, in y'all aspect of a woman, what y'all got in y'all mind, what y'all think y'all should have, how you feel you think you should have the best when you're not even giving yourself the best? You got to give yourself the best first before you can give anybody the best. Get your, Adam, Adam had a job. Adam had a job before Eve came in the second chapter. He was ready. He was smart. He had everything he needed. He had a home. The only thing he had to do was dress it and keep it like God told him to. See, me and y'all got to get things into perspective. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you're, you know, in a ready-made family. You know what I'm saying? Taking on another person or another man's kids. You know, in everything. God gave Adam a job. He had a job. He had everything he needed before Eve came. But he told him, he said he saw that he shouldn't be alone. But before that, he saw that he didn't need to be alone. But before that, he established Adam. See, men have to be established. You cannot be trying to jump up and be in a relationship and, and getting married and, you, and, and you, ain't, you can't even pay your bills right. You can't get no job right. You always run at home to mama or daddy or whoever. I always got people, you know what I'm saying, in, 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 your, in your mix, you know what I'm saying, trying to give you the wrong advice. You know what I'm saying? If you want to take advice, open that Bible up. Go to church. That, in the Bible, believing Bible teaching church, you get the best guidance and wisdom how to be a man. Because the only person that can teach you really how to be a man is God. That's the best man I've ever met in my whole entire life. And he can give you what's best for you if you if you if you give your best. He, he can't help but to give you the best. Pay your tithes and offering. Stop stealing God's money. Wonder why your way ain't going right. Stop stealing God's money. Give God what belongs to Him. That belongs to Him. The whole hundred percent what you work belongs to Him. But at the same time, He blesses us enough for us to take care of ourselves and our families. But give God His money. Don't, don't be putting that woman through nothing financially because you don't like to pay your tithes. You know, give God what belongs to him in everything. But, like I said, you know, to, to our father, especially when it made family father, especially, it had to be a God sent, ladies. If you have a man that's in your life that then took on your children from, from a previous relationship, you know, I'm out for marriage. I'm not for, for, for fornication. But if you haven't just so happen to have been in fornication and had a child in the process, and you end up finding somebody that's genuine and love you and your child, not just you, and, and married you, regardless of or in spite of your situation, that's a God sent. Respect it. Don't disrespect your husband. You know, I, I went through a lot of things. Because of all the hell that I went through in my previous marriage and I had been through in my childhood life. But this man that God put in my life has been very good to me. He has been very good to my kids, regardless if they wasn't good to him. You know, it's a lot of things, and I'll get into other videos about that. But it's a lot of things that a, a, a father goes through in a ready, taking on a ready-made family. You have to be really anointed of God to take on a ready-made family. You really do. You have to be a of God. You just can't take on nobody. I actually had a, I was actually in a previous relationship, which I was supposed to have been in. After I left my husband, I was hurt. I shouldn't have married him anyway because he wasn't ready for marriage. You know, everything was all over the place. He was a cheater. He had children out of wedlock and all that type of stuff. Not with me. He's supposed to have with me. But he didn't have with me. He had with other women. You know what I'm saying? That I end up leaving him and end up leaving and, and heartbroken. You know what I'm saying? In a backslidden state and a backslidden because of what my husband had did to me. And, it, and I lost my relationship with God. Ladies, regardless of what you go through, do not, if you're saved and, and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, do not let anyone or anybody mess up, mess up your relationship with God. That's the, that's, that is a deal breaker. 
Do not ever let nobody. If you feel like you're going to fall because of a man, you need to leave that man. If you feel like you're going to fall and, and lose your relationship with God, you should not be with that person. I'm going to tell you like that. You shouldn't be with that person. Because if you're going to be with somebody, you need to be with someone that's going to be there to motivate you, to elevate you. If you're with somebody, man or woman, you know what I'm saying, man or woman, that's bringing you down, breaking your heart, messing with your mental, your psyche, you don't need to be with that person. Or y'all need to get some counseling. But if they taking you thing, beating on you, hitting on you, cheating on you, and, and trying to make it look like it's your fault, or, or are you delusional, you don't know what you're talking about, oh, oh, you just seeing too much into it, no. Because you're not dumb, you ain't stupid, you weren't born yesterday or two hours ago. You know what's going on, and, and you need to address it. Get some holy bonus and address it, you know. But I thank God for my husband. And taking on my seven kids that, that I previously had from a previous marriage. I thank God for him. I really do. He's a blessing to me. And not just to me, but to my children. You know. And he is a veteran. Yes, he's, he was a military. He's a military man. He's a veteran. You know, and everything. Just telling you a little bit about him. But we will do other videos with him sitting on the side of me. And, and, and if y'all have any questions for us, you can put them in the comments. You can comment down below. If you have any type of question in any, in any area, you know, that you may need help in. Or you hear this video, you hear what I'm saying. You know, it, 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 hey, we here. We'll answer your question. We'll sit down if y'all want us to sit down. We'll know. We're gonna do that anyway because I wanna. We wanna do a video together, talk with both, uh, both of us talking about our ready-made family. You know, and I just wanna say again, thank you to my subscribers, and I ask that y'all like. If y'all like the content, like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, we'll answer all your questions. We will answer your question. If you have Q and A for us, we will put up a video for Q and A. Uh, if y'all have any questions, and uh, if I left anything out that you want to know about, just just hit us up in the comments. We we'll, we will talk to you. We will if you need some counseling. We 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 are we are in church and we save and sanctify folk. We save and sanctify folk. Feel with the Holy Ghost. I'm not afraid to say it. Holy Ghost, not Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost. <laughs> I like Holy Ghost anyway. You know, but like. Comment and subscribe. Please give me your comments. You know, I, I love to, to, to counsel and help people and talk things out with people. If you're hurting and you and you need some guidance or you just need, you know, a, a, a virtual shoulder to cry on or a, a social media shoulder to, to, to cry on, hit me up in the comments. I don't mind conversing with anybody, man or woman, boy or girl. It doesn't matter. Because I know children can feel hurt in the process of being in a ready-made family as well because they want to get to know their other and their absent parent just as well as the custodial parent. So... Just hitting you back up with this video, Yuki J. Curry, better known as Shannon Curry, Shannon Curry, I say Shannon because that's, that's how it's spelled, but you know, I just want to encourage you, your fathers on today, you be blessed and you be strong, especially if you got as many kids as we do, <laughs> be strong, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might, you know, Ephesians 6 and 10. The whole arm of God is what's going to bring you through. And, of course, the anointing of God. But bless you. Bless your heart, fathers, ready-made fathers, fathers that's there and they're active in their lives with their kids. Whether you're paying child support, you can't be there. Because I know sometimes the mothers can act out. You know what I'm saying? And you have no control over that. But still be the best father that you can be. Never be absent from your child's life. Never Never in this present world be absent. If you know you got children, living children on this earth that you done made, do not be absent in no way, shape, form, or fashion. Be in that child's life. Whether it's letters, money, counsel, whatever it may be. Be in that child's life. This is Yuki J. Curry. God bless.